Good morning, everyone. It is a hot day today. It's, it's starting to warm up here, and our garden is starting to actually produce things, which is super exciting. The kids actually planted this tomato plant and some of the other stuff here in the garden, and this tomato plant is starting to have red tomatoes. That is a red tomato. So we planted a whole bunch of stuff earlier in the season and a lot of it didn't work out. We had a lot of snails, a lot of slugs. So some of the things we originally put in here, like the peas, they didn't make it. We had some lettuce and we were eating the lettuce, but then it sprouted the flowers. I think that's called bolting when that happens. And as soon as that happens, the lettuce turns super bitter, like very difficult to eat. So we uh, pulled those up and I had had some onions, some green onions in the kitchen and I transplanted them into the garden and they're, I'm hoping they come back. They were doing really well in the kitchen, just in a mason jar with water. And their roots were getting so tangled together that I was just like, okay, I, I gotta put these in the garden, give them some soil, give them some nutrients. And now they're, uh, they, they didn't like that very much but I'm hoping they come back. We've got a little strawberry bush growing here. This had some strawberries before. I don't think there are any in here right now. Luke ate them. Luke ate them? Mm -hmm. Luke ate the strawberries? Yeah, this one's mine. This, oh yes, this is Parker's tomato plant and it is starting to have red tomatoes as well. I just ate one. You just ate one? Is there another one? You wanna pull one off and show uh, the camera? I don't think there's No, they're all just kind of orange right now. But yeah, you, can see so... them, you can see them growing there. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be good. Oh yeah, look at that whole line of tomatoes right there. These are the sweet millions, right? Yeah, so good. And these ones here are Roma. Look at the size of this one. This one's getting big. This one here is getting pretty big. And this, one too. and this one's getting pretty big. These are gonna be good. Around that time we had planted some sage. It is doing well now. When we went to Italy, we took a cooking class and we used sage in, in the cooking and it was so good. She gave us like a recipe book of the things that we made with her to take home with us. And I'm gonna pull that out and figure out what it was that we made with sage. And now that we have sage, we're gonna we're gonna cook it up. Oh, is that the tomato? Yeah. I got it at the perfect time. And we also have some pepper plants. This one's got a little flower going right there. This one was almost completely dead. You can see that something has been eating the leaves. I read somewhere that you can take coffee grounds and put it around a plant and it'll stop snails and slugs from going to the plant. I have been doing that pretty frequently, taking, because I drink a lot of coffee. I take the grounds and I, I sprinkle them around and just make a barrier around them. That seems to have helped this plant, but clearly something is still eating it, but it's a lot taller than it was before. I think it doubled in size since I started doing that. And it's now got some flowers on it. So if you have some advice on how to protect these pepper plants in particular from pests, I'd love to hear it. I am not seeing any aphids. I'm not seeing the typical like insect attacks that I typically see, but I definitely, I've found some slugs and some snails and stuff. So that's all that's in there right now, aside from grass. There, there's a lot of grass that sprouted up, especially on this side. This side's kind of in the shade. It had some weeds, I pulled them earlier this morning, but that's my next big project is this area here, clearing it out and getting the soil ready to plant something else. One of my goals for the summer is to end up having this be a really nice workable vegetable garden. college now picking her up from her summer classes. She has actually been doing dual enrollment ever since she started at the public high school last year. She was in dual enrollment for ASL and was able to take classes on the high school campus with her friends. It was so cool because even though she went back to homeschooling, she still got to see her friends and take classes with all of her friends throughout the school year last year and that was great. But now over the summer they don't have classes on the high school campus and she's instead at the college campus and it's really cool. It's been so fun getting to like start college with her early. It's like so funny to think about, but we kind of had the like dropping your kid off at college and we went around and toured the campus and just got her ready for these classes. And she's been taking them for several weeks now and it is just so great to see her like just thriving. One of the classes that she's taking is biology and 
she takes lab with the biology class and she loves it so much and it's so cute every time we pick her up and she's like super excited about what she's <laughs> like gotten to do in lab that day and I have to say if you have a child that will be going into high school in the next several years or that's in high school now you need to check out dual enrollment opportunities it is such a neat way to earn credit for college while you're still in high school and at least where we live it is free I just think it's so incredible that you can get ahead with your college education and do it for free like it is such an amazing program so highly recommend it she absolutely loves all the classes that she's taken and she's really looking forward to getting further in all of that throughout the years so it's very exciting and very very cool Bailey just got home from college. I just got home from college. What'd you do? Nothing really interesting happened today, but a few labs ago, like a few weeks ago, I got to see a water bear under a microscope. It was amazing. It looks like a like transparent caterpillar mixed with a bear. I saw the Wildcats episode though. Then you probably know what it looks like. Yeah. Also, in addition to taking my college courses, uh, we're both taking language classes. I am taking Spanish. I'm taking Spanish as well and French and ASL. Well technically I'm not taking ASL right now. I'm gonna take it as soon as the fall starts because I've already taken two ASL courses but I'm gonna take another one and also English. I'm still learning English. <laughs> I'm just learning Spanish. I already said that but I'm you done learning English? I'm also proper. <laughs> as well. This summer, I'm really looking forward to hopefully not breaking any bones. Family camp is coming up, and last time I had a broken wrist, and I had to like not use it as much. So, like, I couldn't go rock climbing, but I I don't know how I did the ropes course, but I don't know. I did it somehow. So excited about family camp because, I don't know, just all of it is super fun and amazing and it's a really nice time to spend with our family. This year, they, they're, ha they're having an escape room. I had no idea. You didn't know? They did not know about the escape room. <laughs> I like escape rooms. Also, they have, they have a, an ice cream store there and the ice cream is always so Another thing I'm really excited about is the train ride. We always train go on this really awesome, fun. awesome train ride to... And like this 100 year old train. Yeah, and it's like a really old train. Yeah. There are multiple movies I really enjoyed seeing this uh, for the first time this summer. I really liked Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. That was... That was good. It was very good. I also really liked Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part, Part one. 1. Yes. Part 1. It's a long name. I also really liked Dungeons and Dragons. That one was good too. I'm really excited about the Ninja Turtles movie. I am so excited about the Ninja Turtles movie. The animation style is really cool. It's like, I know. It's like Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, but... It's kind of, it's like Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse kind of mixed with the Mitchells versus the Machines. And... Com it's a... And... Why are you getting closer to me? <laughs> There's, some, just do there's this. something else there too. We saw like a lot of Steven Spielberg movies. We and did. I, He's been really into Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. Yeah. Lately. Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> what was the one we just watched? Splash. Splash. We watched Splash. That's not Steven Spielberg, but it does have Tom Hanks. Also, we watched Hamilton on Fourth of July, and I've forgotten how good it was. It was so, it's so. On Fourth of July, I actually didn't watch Hamilton. I watched Hamilton with Luke because he was scared of the fireworks. I saw Air Force One because I went to the Reagan Library, and I was interested in the Air Force One, so I watched that movie while you watched. Hamilton. Nothing um, can beat Hamilton. Hamilton's too good. I think the last clip with the plane <laughs> going down. He told me about this. I don't know. I don't quite remember when the movie was made. I think it was in the 1990s. There is some visual effects in that movie that like are good, but there's other ones that are like they have the water, and then they just have a plane crashing down in the water, and then like instead of the water moving at all, it's just like water 
plane comes down and then it's just missed. Another thing that happened this summer, which I really, I haven't really talked about yet, um, but it was kind of big, was I got my wisdom teeth removed. You know, it's not that bad. I actually don't remember any of it. I also got to go to VidCon, and it was my second year at VidCon, and I am so excited that I got to go. Oh yeah, I, VidCon was really fun. I liked going to the lounges. I liked I liked talking with people and meeting people. It really inspired me to work on my own channel, which I've been doing lately. One of my goals in the next year is to reach 100,000 subscribers. I'm really excited about it, and I'm hoping I reach my goal. You guys have to watch it. It's he does such a good job. He, he like does tutorials for Blender and he does such a good job. He's so talented. It's so inspirational. This is our dog, Rue. This is our dog. She's the best. And she really likes people. She loves people. She loves just sitting there and sleeping in whatever room we're in. We went into the summer from a very busy spring, but we knew that July was going to be less busy because Bailey is enrolled in the in-person classes at the college. We didn't plan a whole lot of travel during this time because we knew that we needed to stay close to where Bailey needed to be. And it's been so nice because the weather's been really good and we've been able to go to the pool and spend so much time outside. And this part of the summer has just been really lovely with the kids and um, we're so, so, so excited about getting to go back to family camp again. Like, yeah. Just really looking forward to that. If you ever get the chance to go to the Redwoods in California, like you have to go. It's so beautiful. It's just such it's magical yeah it's, it's such, like it's like a, it's such a miracle like you're seeing a miracle in front of you there's such incredible beautiful trees um and it's it's just an amazing experience and we're all looking forward to that a lot and i'm also like embracing the surprises that come along the way like when you the, got it when you have six kids yeah like, our kids will be like oh a, a bunch of my friends are going to six flags or um, oh can we like can we hop in the car and go to universal or yeah. can we there's a barbecue or they're they're playing a, a game a ball game at the park i want to yeah. go join my friends like that element of summer is really fun and like important and so i've been really trying to embrace that a little bit more this year as well. I feel like a lot of that's been happening too because our older kids are older. So it's a lot easier when it's like the younger kids that have classes and stuff and the older kid has an invite to something. Like it's just like, yeah, go ahead, be gone for the day. Like Bailey was gone all day yesterday with her friend and it was really cool. And they're loving like walking together yeah. into town and whoever is available and can, like they'll just be like, oh yeah, I'll come too. And they go down and they hang out and, and that's been neat. Because I feel like on camera, like we're always, we're always together. together. <laughs> Usually when we're filming, it's like a milestone event. But a lot of the time we're, you know, kind of scattered. So anyway, those are kind of our big goals and plans for this summer. Oh, Ooh, job, are Teddy. you drawing? Oh, You're drawing? Oh, oh. Oh, what are you drawing? Oh. A picture? A picture! You did a picture? Yeah. That's a good picture. <laughs> I painted. You painted? With I painted. This is Noah's Ark with no windows. No exactly windows? No windows. Why don't they have any windows? Because it's a flood. Oh, okay. I like that they're both kind of the same, but both kind of different. Yeah. Like this one's like more faded, but it's I got have, sparkles on it. I don't know if you can I see have, those sparkles. Those yeah, are cool sparkles. sparkles. And then this one's just like really clear, like I have, almost soft. I have sparkles. I don't you have sparkles, sparkles too? Uh -huh. What is this a painting of, Luke? Uh, it's a sword. It's what? It's search words. It's search words. Search words? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Search yeah. words? Yeah. I have a doggy too. I have Sparky's on. You have a doggy too? Oh my goodness. What's I that doggy's have name? Sparkly's uh, on. Yuki? <laughs> I have Sparkly's on here. Oh, very cool. And that thing that was Jacob? Yeah. That, 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 that's for tomorrow. That's for tomorrow? Bye. Bye. Good morning, guys. Good morning.
morning. Bye. Bye. It's, it's, it's. See you next time. See you next time. So you might have noticed earlier that uh, the tent is still set up in our backyard. It was up during the 4th of July. The kids decided they wanted to sleep outside and they've been sort of rotating. Sometimes they sleep in the house, sometimes they sleep out here, but they've been hanging out in the tent a lot lately. What's up with sleeping in the tent? Why, why are you guys doing this all the time? Uh, because it's fun and it likes getting us in the mood of tenting and also s'moring. And s'moring, because we've been roasting s'mores over the campfire as well. Have and making fires, and also yeah, and also doing uh, what was it called? Family camp? No. But we are doing family yeah, camp this year, and I'm, I'm really excited yeah. about that. It's coming up. It's it is coming, it's up. It's, coming it's, up. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming there. It's coming and also, we like roasting marshmallows. S'mores? No, it's s'mores. No, it's. Hot, hot dogs. dogs, hot dogs, hot dogs, hot dogs. We like roasting hot dogs over the fire and then eating that. Oh, there's this s'mores challenge where we were, there was this, there was one s'more on each hand and then there's this random thing on the other. There's a part of a uh, s'more on one little place and then something random on the other place. And then you do like, oh yeah, and, and I won that one. Yeah, and you won that. I won that one because I got the a, whole s'more. The whole s'more, the correct s'more, and it tasted amazing. I only got uh, the marshmallow right. The other things were a cracker thing, he, salty he got, crackers. Yeah, and, salty crackers. And yeah. also cheese the cheese, uh, the easy cheese. Easy cheese, easy cheese. <laughs> That that looked really gross. <laughs> no offense, Duncan. No offense, <laughs> Parker. It was the best. Uh, Family camp. I'm very ex looking forward to and excited about because last year we caught COVID and couldn't get on the roast courses. But this year, I think we're gonna schedule the roast courses like first. I'm big enough for the big roast course this time, and he's big enough for the little kid roast course. I'm so excited to go on him with him because we are best buddies and we like doing it together. I did it like three times. I did it with Dad, I did it with Bailey, I did it with Jacob, I did it with me, I did it with Duncan, I did it with, wait, I didn't do it with you. <laughs> you didn't do it with anybody else. I didn't do it with anybody else. I'm the most excited to do the ropes course and also who uh, do, uh, the new um, place that I'm going to. Yeah, Parker. he's going to day camp with me. My big goal for the summer is being with family and doing family camp. My big plans for the summer are doing a double back tuck and do, being with my family because I am very close to learning how to do a double back tuck. I am just scared. I can do it. I'm just scared. I'm gonna do one today. I'm just gonna do it. And then I'm never gonna do it again. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be like, that accomplishment has happened and it's not happening again. <laughs> Speaking of, I actually have to go get ready for my gymnastics, so adios.
This guy just got back from gymnastics. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happened in gymnastics? Well, remember when I said I wanted to do a double back tuck? <laughs> My big plans for the summer are doing a double back tuck. I just did one. <laughs> So you did one into the pit? Into the, yes, I did one into the pit. So you're going to still keep working on it until you can stick the landing on it? Or, yeah. yeah. That's very cool. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I wanted to do this, this summer, so I already did that. So. Well, since you finished summer, I guess we'll stop the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>